good morning today we go through the concepts of magnetism as we know electricity and magnetism are closely related and the fundamental law which connect electricity and magnetism is faraday's law faraday's law of electromagnetic induction which provides the basis for the working principle of an electric generator in this section we go through important definitions and terms in magnetism their equations different terms that are specified in the syllabus of ktor magnetic flux magnetic flux density magnetic field strength reluctance and magnetomotive force let's go through each of these terms in detail first one magnetic flux first one is magnetic flux we have studied about magnetism in the earlier school classes and some of these terms are familiar to us the first one is magnetic flux let's go through the basic definition magnetic flux is the total number of lines of force total number of magnetic lines of force magnetic lines of force produced by a magnetic source magnetic source may be a permanent magnet or an electromagnet so magnetic flux can be defined as the total number of lines of force produced by a magnetic source we know that magnetic lines of force will move from north pole to south pole and such magnetic field lines and total magnetic flux is defined as the total number of lines of force produced by such a magnetic force it is usually represented by the symbol phi greek letter phi and the unit of magnetic flux is weber and it's represented by wb so magnetic flux is the total number of magnetic lines of force produced by a magnetic source it is represented by the symbol phi and its unit is weber we have one weber is approximately equal to 10 raised to 8 lines of force so one weber of magnetic flux is denoted by 10 raised to 8 lines of magnetic force next is the second term magnetic flux density magnetic flux density it is nothing but the magnetic flux per unit area by proper definition we have magnetic flux density is is the flux passing flux passing through a unit area through a plane normal to the plane so magnetic flux density is the flux passing through unit area through a plane perpendicular or normal to the corresponding plane so it is nothing but flux per unit area that is flux passing through unit area which is normal to that plane it is denoted by the symbol capital letter b and it is since it is magnetic flux density b is equal to flux per unit area its symbol is given by its unit is given by weber per meter square and weber per meter square is termed as tesla after the famous nikolas tesla so magnetic flux density b is given by phi divided by a its unit is weber per meter square or tesla a where a is a area in meter square area of the surface in meter square so magnetic flux density is nothing but flux per unit area and the next one is mmf the expansion of mmf is nothing but magneto motive force similar to emf in electric concept we have mmf in magnetic concept that is the magneto motive force it is analogous to emf in an electric circuit it is defined as it is a pressure it is the magnetic pressure which 
sets up or tends to set up flux in a magnetic circuit. So magnetic motive force, magnetomotive force is nothing but it is a magnetic pressure which is set up or tends to set up flux in the magnetic circuit. So it is a cause which is set up magnetic flux in a magnetic circuit. It can be defined as the work done in moving a unit magnetic pole once around the magnetic circuit as similar to that of EMF. MMF is given by the equation MMF is equal to product of current and number of turns of a coil. So product of number of turns of a coil N and current passing through the coil I then the product of N and I will give the total MMF or magnetomotive force provided by that coil and its unit is the unit of current into unit of number of turns that is ampere turns or AT. Its unit is ampere turns or AT. Next is the fourth one that is the important one. A reluctance. Reluctance. So what is reluctance? In an it is analogous to resistance of an electric circuit. It is analogous to resistance of an electric circuit. It is the opposition that the magnetic circuit offers to the magnetic flow similar to that of electric resistance which offers opposition to the flow of electric current mmf is the opposition opposition that magnetic circuit offers to magnetic flux so it is opposition that a magnetic circuit offered to a magnetic flux it is analogous to resistance of an electric circuit so reluctance is the reluctance from the concepts of the magnetic flux mmf by a and reluctance magnetic see how the basic to equation magnetic flux and from the concepts of reluctance mmf is equal to y Flex we by get the expression flex phi is, is equal to, to flex M by reluctance and reluctance from that yes, we can write is represented by the symbol yes and from this we can write reluctance s is equal to m m of by from that and uh, from this flex. equation we therefore can write the unit is of given by reluctance, reluctance the unit s of is given by is flex, flex by m m of unit of m m of by unit of flex that is ampere turns per paper this is the unit of reluctance. And based on the physical parameters of a coil, reluctance S is also given by the expression reluctance S is equal to L by mu zero into mu zero mu r into a L by mu zero mu r into a L by mu zero mu r into a, where L is the length of the current carrying coil, a is the area of cross section of the current carrying coil, mu zero is the absolute permeability, mu zero is the absolute permeability, and mu r is the relative permeability relative permeability mu zero is absolute permeability and mu r is a relative permeability a is area of cross section of the current carrying conductor and l is the length of the current carrying conductor so reluctance is an important parameter in a magnetic circuit greater the value of the reluctance greater the value of the reluctance more mmf is required by more mmf is required in a magnetic circuit to set up flux and uh, similarly uh, lesser the value of reluctance lesser number mmf is required in a magnetic circuit to set up the magnetic flux also we have magnetic materials usually magnetic materials will have low reluctance magnetic material will have low reluctance because they have very high value of mu r because their mu r is very high similarly non magnetic materials similarly non magnetic materials have high reluctance because their mu r is very low because their mu r is very low therefore materials are classified based on mu r as magnetic materials and non magnetic materials magnetic materials have very low reluctance whereas non magnetic materials have high reluctance these are all about mmf